Hello everyone! Welcome back to our Minecraftian world. And this is a new series, a really a side series for our Adventures in Minecrafting series, which if you're wondering uh, this about this world, what we do in it, the tour of all of our new surroundings, go and see the newest episode of Adventures in Minecrafting uh, about the new world. But this is the side series called Fossil Adventures, and this is all about building the dinosaur zoo and working with fossils and archaeology and Jurassic craft and really just all of that. So today I have a very special idea, a very special thing we have to do actually, not just something that uh, is just on a whim. So before we can ever start working with dinosaurs we must get the equipment and that's going to be an interesting task. But this area which we'll visit um, uh, in the near future is the area where I'm planning on rebuilding the Genesis Dinosaur Sanctuary. So we have a lot of work my friends. There's so much to do in this Minecrafting world at the moment. Mainly because it's a new start. But what I wanted to do is this is the lab and it is bare and empty. So we need to set the lab up which is going to be quite fun. So I need to go grab some supplies from the storage area and we need to get to work. So the first thing we need is a little bit of wood. And I want oak wood because I want to build out of oak, I believe. And I'm going to grab a few things here. A few slabs. I don't know how many we'll need. Probably not a whole, whole lot. Let's see. Uh, we'll do this. So, here we go. Get this here. Okay. So, the first thing I want to do is really set us up some shelving. So, I'm thinking one here, one here, and then we want to go over... Well, no, we, we can't have it all the way against the wall. On one side we can, I think. No, we can't. No, we can't. Let's see here. We'll do it here and here and then okay so basically each of the lab sections will be separated by oh well will basically be each here and I don't know what that is I have been wondering what that is for a while so we'll go two three we'll do four we'll do four over one two three four over actually I think that is the fourth one over yeah. Okay, so for now, these are just the areas for um, the Jurassic craft and the fossils and archaeology. The rest of the lab we will be setting up as time goes by, basically for different things uh, in the future, such as the egg area for exotic birds and so forth and so on. But for now, we're just going to focus on the fossils and archaeology. So we will need a couple workbenches. Um, let's see crafting station I mean and I think I'll shove this one here I'll put one on both ends and then after that I think we should be fine okay we'll put that there and then now I need some shelving which isn't really hard to do you just do well you don't do that um, and you put the oak wood in here Let's see, I think I can do just a little bit more. Uh, there we go. And this is going to be important shelving. Because we will need this to store materials that we're not putting in chests. Speaking of which, I actually need to think about that. Because we, we have our storage area upstairs, but we might need some chests down here. So I need to think about where to put those in just a second. So, we go ahead and get a few more of these down. And I don't know, that's probably not going to be... Yeah, actually, will that be enough? Oh, well, can this not go there? Is it because there's a torch there? I can move the torch, let's see. Now, that'll probably mess up the pattern, but that's okay, that's okay. Uh, and the last thing we need, of course, is storage area. So, that is a interesting question of where to put it. Hmm. 
Uh, I guess we could, well no, that would block that way, wouldn't it? Hmm. Hmm, that is a good question. I think I know the answer, so let's go ahead and do this. So this is where the dinosaur area will be, and then over here we'll have the other labs that will have to do with other creatures. And I need some more slabs really quickly. And by other creatures, there's a few mods, of course, that... Uh, and the lab may change, actually, over time in how we do it. But I'm not going to set up this section right away because we're not working with it right away. Uh, but we will in the future, probably. So I need two of these. And then two of those. Voila. Okay, and, and so this is for, this will be probably um, the exotic birds, and then we'll also have another area, let's see here. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then another area maybe for agriculture. I'm not sure yet. I'm just looking at what we will do. I will review what we have as far as mods go. And we will see what we can do. But this middle section is going to be probably a storage area, more than likely. So I need to get a few chests up and going. Uh, we probably, I'll have to get some more. Actually, I can run and go get do that really quick. Uh, we'll, we'll go from here. So we'll have to do it one space until I get some more iron chests. And then we'll, we'll work with that in the future. So a little bit more wood. Uh, actually, I can make a bunch of wood out of this here. So go ahead and shove a few more things back in there. Make a bunch of chests. Well, I say a bunch, but it's really only six chests, but that's okay. That is all right. Let's see here. Do it kind of like that. And then in the future, we will uh, have more. So I may need to move these torches just a little bit. There we go. And that's just for now. Of course, I'll replace them with iron chest and it'll be a lot easier. Uh, but we need to go ahead and start working on the stuff that we are trying to make. And I think the first thing I need to do, actually, is come over here, grab some of this gold here. Did I just hear another... There are so many mobs that keep spawning in that it's crazy. But I need to melt down this gold because we need to work. Uh, first, let's go with the fossils and archaeology. And we need to find or the equipment we need. So we're, we are going to need... Well, do we need an archaeology workbench right at the moment? Mm, yeah, we will need those in the future. But okay, so an analyzer. So we need two iron ingots, a relic scrap, and a biofossil. And... We have that, and yes, that's what it is. It's another ghost. Okay, I need to run and go to sleep really quick, because otherwise that ghost is going to continue to bother us. They like to spawn under my tree. For some reason, and that is the second one I've had to get rid of in uh, the span of just a few, really a few minutes, right before we got home together. Ah, uh, there's one that spawned right underneath my tree. I really need to light it up under there, I think. Ah, come on. Let's see if we can get rid of him. Or it. Where did you go? Where? Hmm. Okay, I, there it is. There it is. Come here, you. Get back. Okay, this might be a little bit more difficult than it seems. Come here. There you are. Come here. Where'd you go? Okay. Although, really, could you hit a ghost with a sword? That's a good question. No, okay. Whew. Just about went off the deep end there. But what we need to do is we need to get... Okay, so we have a little bit of gold, and I need to make a cast... So, uh, I do have some... Oh, wait, there we go. But I still need to do this anyway, so it's not a not a big deal. Uh, I need to switch to gold and then form that. Okay, so now I need to go find 
my bio fossils right here, and I have some plant fossils, some frozen meat, I have a Dinopedia already, so I have a few things, a Titanus skull, so forth and so on, and we'll decorate the lab. The lab, everything in this world is uh, probably going to be tweaked as we go by, and what I mean by that is we are probably going to be adjusting how the lab and everything looks over time. So we have an analyzer. And we also need a culture vat, which needs four pieces of glass, three pieces of iron, a bucket of water, and some cactus green. I probably need to make a few of those. So I can make, I have three pieces of dye. Do I have any glass? I have not enough glass, to be honest, but I can at least get us one going today. So let's go ahead and see. So we needed four pieces of glass right here, three pieces of iron, some cactus green, and then we need some water. And I could go all the way up to the ho my home, or I could just go out here to the pond. Uh, and now that I think about it, the importance of having water in a laboratory actually is uh, very important. Having worked in a couple labs myself. Oh, here we go. Do, 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 okay. We have us a cultivator. And I'll just leave these here for the time being. Well, no, actually, we might need to, to craft a little bit more. Uh, was that pipe sealant? That was pipe sealant. Uh, okay, so now we, we don't have to worry about a feeder. Let's see, a bubble blower. That's interesting. An analyzer we have. So a sifter and an archaeology workbench. That actually it's pretty simple. Do I have any paper is the question. I don't know if I have paper, books and paper. I have plenty of books. Can you turn the book in, back into paper with my mods? I know a normal mod. Yes, you can. Oh, that's neat. Okay, I need four pieces of wood. One, two. And I need to get rid of some of this stuff because I have way too many. Where is my missile? There you are gunpowder away. I need to put this back in the dies. The casting is done, so fantastic. And now I can make us some more iron ingots if we need. Put this here. Scrap piece of paper. An archaeologist workbench. A sifter. Now this, okay, so we need iron bars, three pieces of string, and some wood. Okay, now let's see. Do I have enough string? I have two pieces of string. So I may have to wait just for a little bit to make sure that I have enough for the sifter from the garden outside. But I need six iron ingots. Uh, I got one iron ingot. How many do I have in here? Eight. Okay. So we'll go ahead and get this casting. But for, the, for now, let's go ahead and put stuff down. Okay, so the question is, oh, well, I made a mistake, actually, in how we're going to, well, no, actually, no, I didn't. Um, let's see, can we put, come here, if we put the analyzer down right here, uh, well, we won't, yeah, yeah, I'll go ahead and move these. We may need them in the future, uh, once we get done with them, though. I will put them up. Well, I'll put them up right here at the end. Yeah. Well, yeah, that should be fine. We'll just keep them right here. Uh, and then we'll move the torches right there. Okay, and I think that shouldn't cause any lighting issue. Okay, cool. And we'll go ahead and put... We'll leave a space for at least three of those, and then three of those. That'll work out good. Then we have the archaeology workbench. Um... So the question is, where do we put this? We could put this actually uh, under here. So if we took this block out and grabbed it, we can use it from right there. And we'll put the sifter beside it once we get the sifter. All right, so let's begin analyzing our biofossils, plant fossils, and frozen meat. Uh, and we will work with those chests to figure out what we're going to put in, uh, where in just a well, we'll sort them. I'll, I'll figure it out. Let's see, get that up. Uh, I need to grab this ingot and keep casting. See, the paper goes here. Throw some paper in there. And then we have these relic scraps, which I'll actually put in the thing above here. 
So there we go. We'll put them like right there. So far, just bone meal and sand. Uh, what else do we need? So I think that's everything for the moment to start the lab for fossils and archaeology. But for Jurassic Craft, we have a few things already. So let's see here. I have plenty of skulls and bones and so forth. So we have a DNA combinator and hybridizer and an extractor. Okay, so let's see. It goes, I believe if I remember correctly, let me see. I have fiddled with Jurassic Craft recently, so I'll have to take a look and see exactly uh, what I need because, okay, there's a couple pieces here and there. Embryo calcification machine, yes, I do need that. An extractor, a sequencer. Oh dear, this is, okay, so the Jurassic Craft stuff might be a little while just to make sure I have everything. So here's a DNA combinator, and then we have the extractor. Yeah, this is for amber. Which, actually, we do have a few pieces of amber that could go in there with some storage disks. Uh, so here's some amber. And then, yes, here's my storage disk. Okay. So we can begin the process there, but we can't get extremely far there. So we'll go ahead and you put the amber in here, and you put the disk in here. And it should start going across it in just... There it goes. Yes, it's kind of slow. Okay, so still just sand and bone meal. So that's running. Um, I guess this can be a byproducts chest. Uh, and yeah, this, this, the Jurassic Craft items take a little bit more resources to get, so uh, it may take just a minute. But let's go back to fossils and archaeology. So they've added a lot more animals in uh, the fossils and archaeology. There's amber, and then there's Dominican amber. Uh, what is this? Tethered log. Interesting. A scratching post. Uh, but, let me see if I can find it. Okay, so we have a lot more. We have the embryos, of course, for the base Minecraft creatures. And then we have um, Alligator Gar. We have Sturgeons, Velociraptor, Pteranodon, Mosasaurus, Dilophosaurus, Spinosaurus, Ankylosaurus, Deinonychus, Lyplurodon, Sarcosuchus, Dryosaurus, Therizinosaurus, Ceratosaurus, Allosaurus, Gallimimus, Pachycephalosaur, uh, Compsognathus, Brachiosaurus, Stegosaurus, Plesiosaur, Tyrannosaurus, Triceratops, take a breath, <laughs> Parasaurolophus, Ichthyosaurus, Maganera, which is a giant dragonfly, so that's pretty cool, Henotus, which is a turtle, uh, Megalograptus, which I'm not entirely familiar with, Confuciornus, which is a species of uh, extinct bird, Dodo, and then we have multiple types of terror birds, Mammoth, Quagga, Megaloceros, which is, I believe, a deer-like animal. Megalodon, which is pretty interesting. Megalania, which I'm super excited about, because one of my favorite animals is the Komodo dragon, and the Megalania is a gigantic Komodo dragon. Elasmotherium, and Smilodon. So we have a lot of animals, not counting the Jurassicraft animals uh, that will be added in, too, or that are added in. So let's take a look. So they include, let's see, see if I can find the eggs. Where did we go? Uh, calluses, where, okay. Uh, let's see, there's Brachiosaurus, Coelacanth, Dilophosaurus, Gallimimus, Microraptor, Mosasaurus, Parasaurus, Triceratops, Tyrannosaurus, and Velociraptor, and I think that was all of them. Uh, so we have a good variety of animals to choose from. And so far, we're getting just a pile of sand, which is interesting. Sand and bone mill, but I actually do need that bone mill, so that's fantastic. More bone mill, so while we're waiting on that, let's see what we get. Oh, well, see what I'm doing. I have to keep casting these ingots. Uh, for the sifter, which needed, uh, let's see. These iron bars, some string, and some wood. So that we need three more ingots for the iron bars. Luckily, it doesn't take these ingots very long to mold. 
Okay. Alrighty, so we have some iron bars. I need some string and some wood. Oh, I had iron bars. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see, what was I looking for? Wood. I was needing some wood. There we go. Seven oak planks, and then I need some string. Which, actually, I can take some of this bone mill to go get. Fantastic. Fantastic. And then I need to eat a pineapple. Boy, that takes some skill, eating a pineapple and climbing. Oh, I need to go to sleep. Because it is a little bit dangerous to be outside at night time. There is werewolves and ghosts and giant ogres and yaddy. Oh, too many stuff to even say. Hello, Midnight. We will be letting you come with us as soon as I can get you a steady supply of food, my friend. Uh oh, come on down the ladder. Okay, down we go. I need to get some string. I actually, our string grew pretty well. Um, and I need to use some of this bone meal to get a little bit more. Probably just going to use it all because I do need a lot of string. Okay, there we go. We'll turn half of this into seeds because I don't think I need all of these, but there we go. Yeah, we still got 13 cotton seeds. Turn this into string. There we go. Now back to the basement laboratory. Ow, that probably was not a good idea. But what can you do? So string goes, I think, like this. And then the rest is wood. No, I got something a bit off on this. Was that it? No. Okay, let me check. Let me check. There we go. Put the wood away. Put the seeds away. The string away. And go back down and install the sifter. And then check on our analyzer and see what we got. that there and put the sifter here. Voila. What have we got? Ah, our first dinosaur of the entire zoo is a Compsognathus. Fantastic. Which is actually okay because they're small and easily manageable at least in the sense of uh, exhibits. So there we go. Granted they might be able to escape easier which is a consideration. And our last biofossil nothing okay let's go ahead and put the frozen meat in ahead of that so we can see and then um the plant fossils i'll just let it run uh, because i am excited about that too oh there's a tar fossil that was interesting 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 okay and we got volcanic rock which is odd okay uh but pretty cool i will admit and uh, i believe we will store uh oh, can I not? I can't open this. Okay. But I'm going to go ahead and set our DNA for the time being, and I'll come back and organize this right here. So there we go, you guys. The first of our mini creatures to go in the Genesis Dinosaur Sanctuary. A Compsognathus. And then we have some seeds. But alright guys, so there we go. Our Fossil Adventures is now underway. Uh, like I said, this is a side series to our Adventures in Minecrafting series, so it takes place in the same world. But uh, this is completely devoted to the dinosaur side of things. So I will see you guys in the next episode, and until then, I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye guys.